Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you doing? This is Ryan Knows Tech with Tech Informed US. Pardon the gay intro. Uh, we're doing a unboxing and, and quick install in the 15-inch MacBook Pro of not my address, but rather uh, the OWC Mercury Pro 6G fancy 120 gigabyte pretty blue label SSD. This is the one that uh, is 6G, so it's going to work in all the 2011 MacBook Pros, excluding the 2011 17-inch. For some reason, they dick that over and it doesn't work. So uh, this is going to be in the 15-inch, which is model identifier, I believe, 8,2. Does not work in the 8,3. So we're just going to make this quick. Go ahead, open it up, uh, show you what you get. I did the one with the uh, enclosure as well, so I can use a different hard drive than I'm going to have. Uh, as somewhat of a backup drive. I probably should have taken that label off in hindsight. See what I can do in editing. Uh, I ordered this last night. It just got here five minutes ago. Pretty good shipping. I did do the overnight for five dollars or something. Uh, we have that. As well as papers, because some people like papers. As well as another toolkit, which is phenomenal. I have two of them now. Of course the uh, SSD right here. And there's that beautiful label I was talking about earlier, because that makes a difference. And then uh, the actual hard drive enclosure here is stuck within this box. All right, here's the enclosure. Just This is just a pretty cheap. It's only a few dollars, I think, if you do it separately. USB 2.0 enclosure. I'm not expecting a whole lot here. Just a 2.5 inch SATA. Uh, enclosure that is enclosed in plastic, yep. There's the drive, cram your drive in there and then just use the mini USB to USB 2.0 cable, which is right here, to use it as an external drive for backups or whatever you want to use it for. Looks like you also get a, a faux leather slash vinyl slash plastic pouch for it if you wanted to carry that around, as well as screws, so I guess you could get it screwed up or something. Well, uh, moving on to the SSD, this is the same packaging as the other one that I had, the 3G. Difference between the 3G and the 6G, the 6G is about twice the speed, which is seriously quick, around 559 megs per second. So, uh, really cheap packaging for such an expensive product. Open it up, and uh, this is so light. It's ridiculous how light this is. I've got a light man over here. Kenan, how, uh, how heavy is that SSD? It's really it is light. ridiculously light in light comparison. Oh, yeah. It is ridiculously light in comparison to a 5400 or 7200 RPM drive. Uh, so we're going to do some fancy editing, and the next thing you see will be the inside of my 15-inch 2011 MacBook Pro. All right, from here it's pretty easy. It's the same process of installing a hard drive. I have the OWC data doubler right here. This is my 7200-500 uh, gig drive that came with this Mac new. My current SSD is right here. I'm just going to take out these two screws located on top of the drive. Uh, with the included toolkit. Here's my screwdriver. These two screws are Phillips head. They, they just come out like this, real easy. Then from there, it's pretty much lifting the drive out, disconnecting the data cable on this one, putting the data cable on the new one, and the reverse process of everything we just did. A note for somebody new who has never taken the case off of, or the case back, rather, it sounds like a watch I'm talking about, but off the back of the MacBook Pro, the top three screws in the back uh, putting the hinge here and the battery in the bottom right, those are longer, so take note when uh, putting those back in. Data cable comes right off the hard drive or the solid state drive. I need to take these Torx uh, 4 things off and put that on the new drive and we'll be right, af right back after that to seal it up. Alright, so I got those four uh, Torx screws put back in here. The purpose of those, they really just uh, keep it steady in here. If you didn't use those, it would actually move around and rattle into the case back as I found out once when I forgot to put that in. The difference between the drives, they're exactly the same size, the 2.5 inch SATA. I mean, it's just plastic or titanium or something here. It's just real simple. Cheap casing, that's what's inside of these things that matter. Data cable, real easy to put back on. Just match it up with the pins that are there. Drop it back inside the unit like this. And then take that black piece that uh, we had taken off before, line that back up on top, screw it in, and you're pretty much done. I mean, this is just like putting a hard drive in. The only difference with solid state drives is they use less power, make less noise, and work at about up to 92 times the speed, according to um, otherworldcomputing.com. I'll try to put a link down below of, of where I picked this drive up. It is expensive. Prices are going down by the week, though, so I would keep an eye out. Um, this is by far the best SSDs that I have been able to find on the market. Reading tons of reviews of 
different drives, it would appear that the 6G OWC uh, is the fastest right now. So that's going to conclude this video. I will make a uh, review going over the speed tests compared to the 3G and uh, do not expect power consumption or anything else to be different, but I'll let you know how those speeds turn out, boot up time, anything like that, and uh, we'll see if any of that changes. For anybody wondering, the old SSD has been sold to uh, the guy sitting on the couch behind me to his late 2008 MacBook, so uh, he's going to be a happy camper with that. Thanks for watching. Our tech site is techinform.us. My personal Twitter is twitter.com slash jamesrschultz, and I'll try to catch you guys in tomorrow's video for Friday. Thanks. Bye.